Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Pater with you today. I have been tagged in, I believe it's called the Holly Jolly Christmas Tag. I was tagged last week and I haven't had a chance to sit down and do this, but I've been thinking about it and I promised Miss Wanda I would do it. So I got to scroll through her video last night and write down the questions. So this looks like a lot of fun. I know a lot of folks have done this and tagged other people, so I'm gonna tag some folks, and if you've been tagged, or if you don't wanna do it, or if you have already done it, because I'm behind on the times, I apologize. So I'm gonna go ahead and tag you right now. I'm gonna tag Logan's Homestead, Tennessee Homestead, Starry, so answer what questions are appropriate for you. I say answer, you know, whatever questions you wanna answer. So there's about 20 here, but you don't have to answer all of them and Art and Brie over in North Carolina. Now you guys may have been tagged. If you've done this video, I apologize. Just go, oh, I was tagged again, okay? I mean, that's good. So I've got these questions. I wrote them down real quick and uh, we will go through it. And I may have a cat run through or a dog bark. I've got a baby chick here. So there's all kinds of stuff. So my Christmas ambiance is the low pie here. So <laughs> nice and cozy this morning. I'm sure y'all are cold too. Okay, so we're going to go through these questions because they're it's fun. This is really cool. What is my favorite Christmas movie? I'm sorry, by all means, it has to be National Lampoon's Christmas. Uh, I'm an 80s kid. You're going to see this theme reoccurring uh, throughout this whole thing, probably. So I love that movie. Hilarious. Doesn't get any better than Cousin Eddie. There's a lot of great Christmas movies out there, but for me, takes the cake, right? All right, so the next question was, have I been naughty or nice? I'll just pass on number two. <laughs> okay, number three, show an embarrassing photo. I don't have any embarrassing photos at my disposal right now. So what I've thought of is this, hopefully this weekend when I go um, and visit my parents. My mother has so many embarrassing photos of me that I'm hoping to snag some. Maybe we'll do a little collage because um, I can pump some serious embarrassing photos, okay? So everything's packed away right now still, so it's kind of like I don't know if I've got embarrassing photos. I, you, you should see, uh, you know, my teenage years with big hair and sequin shoes and all kinds of stuff like that. 80s and 90s kid, I'm telling you. Okay, did I ever have a white Christmas? We've never, you know, growing up in East Tennessee, coming from Knoxville, we've never really had much of what you would call a white Christmas. They've certainly been, there have been some cold ones, and then a lot of times they'd be really mild. But one year, I believe it was the Christmas of 92, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we had this real huge sweep of snow come in. And uh, we were at my uncle's house. And it was like we looked outside, and it was suddenly this blizzard was hitting. So... What I remember, why I remember this Christmas is because we dared my uncle to strip down to his underwear and run all the way down to the well house and back in the snow. <laughs> this is how we do Christmas. And so there was my uncle. He's like 6'2", this huge hairy man running in the snow. So I know you want to hear that on this video, but you had to have been there. You would... That's what makes Christmas good. So see, all coming together here. So that we did have sort of a white Christmas then. So I've never been to Colorado or up into Canada during this, this time of year, which would be fantastic. So, um, but uh, technically a white Christmas, I would call it more of a funny, blizzardy, quick Christmas there. My husband remembers that Christmas too because he was driving home um, from Idaho from nuclear training to try to get to his parents' house in the snow. So it's funny how you can remember that, That's that particular Christmas. Okay, where do we spend our holidays? Well, growing up, we spent holidays two different ways. I did. Um, on Christmas Eve, we would get together with family, have a huge get-together, and it would alternate every year. Like one day, you know, one year it would be at my aunt's house, the next year it would be at my nana's house, then another aunt, then it would come to our house, and we would all exchange presents, and we would have this huge feast and do all of these things and sing. There's so many good memories, it really. And for a long time, I still had a great-great-grandmother and a great-great-grandmother. I had a great-great-grandmother until I was 16 years old. So, um, 
nonetheless, so we had all these memories and then and we would go home and Santa would come and you'd get up and then you'd put everything away and you'd get ready and then you'd go to my great grandmother's house at lunchtime by noon to do that huge, a huge spread all again. I've always said I never understood how these women did all of this. My mom and my, my nana and my grandmothers and my great grandmothers and aunts, the cooking, the cleaning, the perfect present wrapping, everything. So we had that for many, many years. Now it's a little more low key. Of course, we don't live in Knoxville, so we do Christmas Eve a lot of times with family in Knoxville, or maybe they will come here. And then Christmas Day is turned into a bit more of a Santa slash chill day. I kind of like that. And then we have a theme, a personalized theme dinner on Christmas Day. This year, it's Italian. So I'm going to be cooking Italian food this Christmas Day. So, okay. Um, oh, I lost my spot. My Sing a favorite Christmas song. Okay, well, um, I have multiple favorite Christmas songs, and they vary in different languages and different themes and all of these different things. But what made me, the two songs that stuck out in my mind, actually there's several, but um, are the ones that you have to just stop and listen to and sing. It'll stop you in the grocery store, you turn it up in the car, you get so excited when it's on the radio. So the first one, of course, if you know me at all, my favorite Christmas CD is Kenny and Dolly. 80s kid here, come on. Christmas without you. A white Christmas and I'm blue. Like fireworks with no fuse. Christmas without you. I could almost cry with that one. And then my next favorite, which there's only one version of this. The rest of it is just like blasphemy. <laughs> Don't do it. Is definitely George Michael, wham. Last Christmas I gave you my heart. But the very next day, you gave it away. Oh, stop it. Okay, so those are my favorites. So, okay. Open presents on Christmas Eve. Yes, like I said, we family, family presents always Christmas Eve. And then Santa would come overnight. And then, you know, my husband and I always get each other a present or we get a present together and it's usually before Christmas. So something we need and enjoy together, something so functional a lot of times. Um, but that's usually how it goes. Uh, family giving at Christmas Eve, definitely. And then Santa in the morning, Santa presents in the morning. It's fun. Okay. Name Santa's reindeer. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? <laughs> okay, so what holiday traditions do I look most forward to? Probably, it's going to revolve around food. Um, you know, we, have coming, moving from the town, city to country, a lot of our traditions have changed. This year has brought a different meaning um, because we're going to have a very small ceramic tree this year. So we're just not going to stress about it. But you always a Christmas tree, always Christmas cards. Um, we cook certain things that we enjoy. Christmas cookies, sure do like those Christmas cookies, sugar. I mean, you know, Christmas cookies are a big tradition. So our, I don't know if we have a specific tradition yet because our life has changed within recent years. So we're kind of getting our, it's it, kind of getting our feet going on that one. But let's just talk about food, right? A real tree or a fake tree? Okay. I prefer a fake tree only if it is a white flocked tree. A true flocked white Christmas tree with white lights. That is my all-time favorite. Grew up with that. My Nana, of course, had that. Ooh, law, with gold instruments, gold ribbons, and beautiful ornaments, and the theme was music. And she has ornaments, these beautiful, or I mean, really ornate, and they're all different instruments. And that would be the theme of her tree. She was the piano player at the church, and my papa was the choir director. So, but if I can't have that, which I don't, I prefer a real tree, but honestly, any of them do, okay? My favorite holiday treat or food? 
Christmas cookies. Christmas cookies and Christmas cookies. I love I love good old fashioned uh, sugar cookies with icing and all the different shapes with sprinkles and the little glittery things and the little round colored balls and the hot red hots and all the different love it love it love it love it and i also love noels and i love peanut butter blossoms and buckeyes and oh my gosh i could just you can keep the rest of it if you just put me on the dessert side with all the cookies and treats i'm happy i love it do i prefer giving or receiving gifts i like both i like giving i mean it's really nice especially when you can find something that you know somebody really wants and hasn't been able to get or something that really is meaningful to them. But I like getting presents too. I ain't gonna lie to you. I like it. It's fun. It's fun. It's nice to know you, that somebody loves you or thinking of you. You know, it's really nice. Okay. Um, tackiest Christmas attire. Again, I can pull that off like no other. So if I can raid my mother's closet who has all of these wonderful things. My mother owned a clothing store in the very late 80s into the 90s so when it comes to the sweaters and the sequins and the um <laughs> i think it was beverly feldman shoes that had all the sequins and you, you just don't know you just don't know we can pull that off no problem favorite dream place to be for christmas this is so non appalachian tradition i'm always in tennessee for christmas i can't imagine not being anywhere for christmas but if i could hop on a plane on december 26th and go to bora bora <laughs> I love the beach, so my husband loves the beach, but he doesn't like to tan, and yeah, I could just do it all day long. So uh, I would like to go to Bora Bora. That's where I want to go. But on the 26th, that'll work. Um, family holiday recipe. Well, I've already done a video on one, which is sausage balls. You got to make them. We'll put a link in the description below. Sweet potato casserole by Aunt Judy. Come on. I'll, that's on my blog. I'll put a link down below. We always have, we always have um, I beg for greens and dumplings by my Nana. We do sin pie. I'm going to have to make a sin pie for you. Ooh, la. Um, all of that sort of stuff. We always have a real big mix of things. And we look, but sausage balls are huge, and the sin pie, and the sweet potato casserole. Those stand out in my mind big time. Am I a pro rapper? All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. Ice is back with my brand new invention, something. Grabs a hold of me tightly, flow like a harpoon daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Turn out the lights and I'll glow to the extreme. I rock a mic like a vandal, light up stage and wax a chump like a candle dance. Yes, I am very pro rap, but when it comes to Christmas presents, throw it in a bag, baby. That's the way we rock around here. Okay, so next question is most remember memorable holiday. Has to be something uh, growing up with my papa. So I'm gonna put a, I did have this picture. Can you see this? It's my papa. Yep, I look just like him. I know, his mama actually. So always with my papa, and he's always in a gray Tennessee, gray sweatshirt with Tennessee on it. I have those. So, always the, anything with Papa. Chris, his Christmas lights, um, for those of you that know, uh, he was a major outdoorsman in terms of, well, he was an outdoorsman. He hunted and hunting, fish and loving every day. That's who I went fishing with all, growing up. But he did Christmas lights like no other. Uh, if you live in West Knoxville area, you've seen his house. He, he used to do it back in the 60s when my, my, my mom and uncle were young and it stopped. And then we always had a lot of tradition in terms of inside the house with the white flock Christmas tree and different things like that. Um, but then in 1988 or 89, he started the Christmas lights again and he was hand, having folks and himself, they were hand welding and making these enormous Christmas figurines and the lights. We had lights on the roof. Clark Griswold is nothing compared to this man, and he did it right. So, anything with that, and I talked about my uncle running through the snow, and uh, just getting together with family, and uh, my first Christmas with James, I remember that. Our first Christmas together. Had our first little Christmas tree, I remember that. So, it's all about family. It's all about family. My kids' first Christmases, um, all of those things. What made me realize about Santa? What about Santa? I believe in Santa Claus. Kenny and Dolly again. I, I don't really make, make me realize that Santa is incredibly awesome. I, I realized that when I was real little. 
He's never let me down. I still make Santa cookies and have a special plate for him. He gets his sugar cookies all, and he, Santa gets his love around here. New Year's resolution, I don't make them. I do not eat those nasty peas. So I give up New, Year, New Year's resolutions because there's no way you're making me eat black-eyed peas. It would have to be SHTF times 10 to make this girl do it. You can food storage challenge me till the cows come home. I am not eating those nasty peas. <laughs> now you know how I feel. What makes holidays special um, is two things, family and no stress. And whatever it takes to be with the ones that you love and to have no stress. So simplifying things if you need to and focusing on the things that you enjoy that bring you no stress, Christmas cookies and good music and simple decorations and getting together with family and seeing them enjoy the holiday with you and no stress. That's what makes it special. So I hope this was fun. I owe you some pictures. I'm very well aware of that. So we hope you have a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday season and a wonderful New Year. And this was fun. So the guys that I tagged, if you want to join in and do it, absolutely. And we appreciate you all the time here at Appalachia's Homestead. This is going to be a really good Christmas. Look, we're trying to make it a little low-key. This year's brought a new meaning for us. So, you know, Take it in, guys. Don't blink. Don't blink. We love you. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. I always say that. Merry Christmas.